I will find you again. I just about given up on you ever waking up. Sleep well? I dreamed of Betty. She was in the garden, and she called for me. How about you, Lissy dearest? Oh, you know me, old fruit, wide awake at first light. The Fretlands didn't come home, did they? They did not. There's no sign of anyone. Aside from last night's Mistwalker. I've been thinking about that. I... What? It was dark. Maybe I just saw a shadow. Chasing a shadow? That's very unlike you, old boy. Usually you scurry off in the opposite direction. I didn't get a good look. I'm not even sure there was anyone there. Well, there must be someone here. And I'm not talking about ghosts. Or goats. What was it you said yesterday? Maybe they're peeking at us through the windows. I'll take a gander. The Fretlands will be home soon. And Betty's here. I know it. I feel it. If you say so, Teddy Bear. Have you had your noodle juice yet? I'm not rummaging through their cupboards. You'll be a pill without your tea and toast, old bean. We need to get you sorted. I'm not hungry. First point on the agenda. Find the natives. A mission! Hot dog! I'll scout ahead. I'll meet you down by those houses. Let's uncover your secrets, Grovik. Alice? By the village houses, Teddy!
Lucy! I'm by the village houses! a beautiful day. You could bottle and sell this air in Boston. It's frankly medicinal. Careful you don't fall. You suck the fun out of everything, old boy. We're far from any doctor. I don't want you to hurt yourself. That's not very likely, is it? I thought you were scouting ahead. What do you think I'm doing? Vantage point. Like on a pirate ship. I can probably see our house in Hanover from here. Did you check those buildings? Knocking on doors isn't a scout's job, old bean. There must be someone around. Only one way to find out, old sport. Did you check all the houses? Where are you going? Where are you going? Teddy, where are you going? What are you doing? Where are you going? Uh... Alice. What is it? There must be someone around. Only one way to find out, old sport. Did you check all the houses? Hello? Anyone here? Hello, Mr. American. Please come in for a cup of tea and biscuits. You're not helping. Also, they drink coffee here, not tea. <gasps> no one home? Hello? Who? Who's there? Hello? Anyone home? September 21st, 1923. Vie er desperata. Lissy, found something here. 
escalated from words to stones. Blood has been spilled. The curse haunts us all. There is no hope left in... Uh, good Svarlata. Good. God. Right. In this godforsaken place. The death of the... Jiminy. Death of the children was the end of Grovik. Whatever remained of our souls departed with them. You should see this, Lissy. The letter just trails off. It was never sent. Did you see this door closing? It was just the wind, teddy bear. You're as skittish as a pussycat. There's one more house. Third time's the charm. Anyone home? Unless they're playing hide and go seek, I'd say that's a no. Three strikes, you're out. I don't think anyone's been home for a while. Someone painted the word traitor on one of the doors. And there was a letter. It sounded foreboding. Well, you were wrong. The villagers are not indoors. I saw some sheds down by the water. There's the general store. The church. In other words, time for some sightseeing? Well, it's a bright and beautiful day. And we have nothing better to do. What on earth are you doing? Handstands, Teddy! My record is two minutes. I'm working on three. Just go on ahead. I'll catch up. July 24th, memorial service. A commemoration of the accident at the mine this past summer. No services after that. All these graves. What happened? It's a cemetery. But look at the soil. These are recent burials. You're right. Do you think this is where... Where everyone's gone? Are they all... dead? This can't be everyone. Besides, someone had to bury the bodies. Fair point. Well made. Something did happen. Several people died in a short period of time. How? An accident? A mass murder? Spanish flu? 
I wouldn't want to speculate until I've learned more. I can speculate for the both of us. Well, Betty's not here. I'm gonna keep looking. What about the church? Why would they board up a church? To keep the ghosts from escaping? Blissy. Or the goats from getting in? What does that say? Uh, God is not here. What does that say? Uh, God is not here. Well, so much for that. No wedding, no baptism, no funeral. There must be people somewhere. Where are you going? For a constitutional. To breathe some of this salty sea air. <sighs> you go on ahead. I'll find you. Betty would have taken plenty of constitutionals here. She loves the outdoors. How so? She's a city girl. I'm sure she gets tired of Manhattan. And when she was little, she loved playing in the garden back in Hanover, especially around the... the pond. Are you alright? I just miss her. Lissy! Up at the church!
No trespassing for traitors. Cool. Want to jump the gate and explore what's on the other side? What do you say, old sport? The sign says no trespassing for a reason. Come on! There may be trolls, or at least more houses. Where's your sense of adventure, old sport? Don't you want to see where these tracks go? They lead to the old mine, and no. I've had enough adventure on this side of the fence. Besides, they wrote no trespassing for a reason. You're such a terrible bore, teddy bear. I'll wager a thousand clams. You'll jump this gate at some point, if you believe Betty's on the other side. Frederick Fretland. Who are these traitors he refers to? You'd have thought someone would have seen us by now. Even if they were all hiding indoors. Maybe there was a spell or curse that made them all invisible. Honestly, Lissy. Or maybe we are the invisible ones. Uh, but then we would see them, wouldn't we? No, I think my original thesis is more likely. The villagers turning invisible is the more likely thesis. Do try to keep an open mind, Edward, darling. turned into a pebble, and they can't speak, but they see and feel everything that happens to them. There's something very wrong with your head. Wouldn't that just be awful? Why, I'd be a murderer. <sighs> What's this? Remnants of the mining operation. What, mine? Remember, I, I told you yesterday. There was a mine here, but it closed down 20 years ago. I know, Edward. I was just checking for a sense of humor. Still nowhere to be found. Where do these tracks lead? To the mine. Where else would they go? I don't know. A castle up in the mountains? Where the frost giants live? And this is how they receive their monthly offering of meat from the villagers. Goat, I hope. What did they use this for? Bringing the ore down from the mine before it was loaded onto boats. So, diamonds? Gold? Or just boring old silver? Iron ore. Or what? Rock, which contains iron I know. deposits that... I... <sighs> okay, Edward. I don't understand why they just leave this here. Like an altar to adversity. It's creepy. Rustic superstition. Perhaps they believed they'd attract bad luck if they moved it. Til Minna Om. It's a memorial. Three men died when the mine collapsed in 1902. Georg Hatlestein, Niels Frambu, Arna Fretland. See, this is what working a regular job. It, did you say Fretland? The boy in the photograph. The accident must have forced the mine to close down. What does any of this have to do with us? I still don't know why Elizabeth came here. And you think it has something to do with this mine? Or with what it did to the village? Maybe. He was just 19. How long had he been working in the mine? That's too young for a dirty job like digging into rock. We're in the real world, Lissy. Most teeners don't have the luxury to idle away their days with games and witty repartee. Ouch.
our ticket out of here! Not without Betty. Besides, the woods rotted through. This boat isn't seaworthy. It's curious. The state of the boats. It's like they stopped taking care of them. Seems short-sighted. How would they fish? Or get anywhere at all? There's no damage to the rope. I don't know what that means. Nobody cut it. I guess the knot could have unraveled on its own. Didn't you say you used a sailor's knot? <laughs> I'm a scholar, not a fisherman. So who took our boat? A ghost? There must be a logical explanation. It's safe to say no ghost in the night stole our boat. If you say so. But then who were you chasing after last night? A shadow? I don't know. It was probably all in my head. Weather is favorable today. I did a little dance last night. Appeasing the weather gods? Thor, in particular, was mightily impressed. Was he? Promised to back off with the thunder and lightning for a spell. And don't you know, he proposed to me. Oh, of course. But I told him I'm not into gods. I prefer jazz musicians. If no one was around, I'd strip naked. The earth would delight in my bare feet. The wind would savor playing with my hair. Is that so? I don't know, I just like being naked. But not when you're around, teddy bear. How about we don't go back to Hanover and stay here instead? And how would I survive? Hunt? Harvest? Forage? People have survived here for centuries. Why can't we? I wouldn't even know where to begin. I could learn. I'd start with goats. Goats can be eaten and milked. Probably not in that order. The telegraph is out of order. Well, there goes my plan. N-O-S-O-S. -S. This was two years ago, but the notice is still up. How can it take two years to get something like that fixed? If they couldn't afford it? Or couldn't get anyone to come fix it? Well, this place really is off the map. Here be dragons. Or dragons, I guess. The ferry route is no longer operating. Rats! Mrs. Fretland already informed me in her letter. I know. Still warrants a resounding rats. I wonder why it stopped running. Look around. How many people live here? Twenty? Thirty? 
That can't be enough for a ferry route. Things got quieter after the mine closed down. They need to move on and find something else to put their village on the map. Mm, a tobacco farming, maybe. They had a memorial service for the accident in the mine. On July 24th, in the village church. For something that happened 20 years ago? It still affected their lives. Fretland and Son. How do you figure? It's on the sign above the entrance. And on this photograph. Frederick and Simon Fretland. The older gentleman is clearly Mr. Fretland's twin brother. Twins are confusing. If this was a dime novel, they'd be switching places at some point to confuse the coppers. Damn you, twins! Simon Fretland. Frederick's son. And Johann's nephew. See, I'm getting the hang of this. Simon. Simon. Th that was the name in the burnt book. So Simon is Ruth's older cousin. Ah, applesauce. Why lock any doors? I can't imagine they have a problem with punks and hoodlums. The sign says they're closed, but I thought maybe... Hello? Are you open? Is anyone there? Can't you just bust down the door? Locks be damned? Breaking and entering, I will not. I'll just dislocate my shoulder. Is that... Lissy, come here. It's Betty's hat. She was here. She could still be in there. Betty? Uh... Betty! Are you sure, Edward? I mean, it's just a hat. Is it even a hat? I'm I know sure my I... sister's hat, Lissy. I have to get inside. What about the breaking and entering part? I could care less what they call it. Here's an open window. You seem eager to break the law. I approve. It won't budge. Nah, don't be a milk toast. Well, it's stuck. Attaboy, Teddy. You can do this. I can't believe I'm actually breaking. Whoops, Daisy. My Teddy, <laughs> you're such a sap. Edward Charles Hardy, dilettante, <sighs> world traveler, cat burglar. A cat burglar would, by definition, enter a building Jeez, on a higher floor. The state of this place. Oh, Betty. Edward. I hope you weren't here when... Is this... blood? Not necessarily human blood. Well, that's all right then. What does it say? Barn murder? Someone murdered a barn? Barn means child. And mortar, that's... Child murder. Edward, they murdered a child? Someone thought so. Probably the same someone who vandalized the store. Damnation. The hat's in here. Calm down, old boy. Anyway, how's the hat going to help us? Who knows what else is in here? There could be more clues. All right. Okay. Everything's Jake. We made it into the store. 
I'm sure we'll find a way through that door. It's the same photograph as in the former Johan's house, gone. But... At least, I assume he's the one who's been... Snip! Frederick clearly did not want anything to do with his twin brother. These were never sent. How long have they been piling up? I received Mrs. Fretland's letter in June. A couple of months. Perhaps the world forgot about Grovik. Out of order. Why hasn't it been fixed? Perhaps there wasn't much demand for it anymore. S. O. S. Oh boy. If only this thing worked. We could order a boat to come get us. <clears throat> what are you doing? Looking for keys. Your life of crime continues. The keys are all gone. Some thieving thieves beat you to it. Rascals. There's a note. Is it written in Viking runes? What does it say? It's from Simon. Yai put it means I put. Knuckle is key. Casa. I don't know what that word means. He put the key in the casa? Casa. I wish I had my dictionary. The note's addressed to his father. So the key was moved. But where to? Somewhere safer. Or more convenient. Can we really trust your translations? You only started studying a month ago. I spent the summer reading, and I had a lot of free time on the ocean voyage. Come on, how much could you possibly pick up in a few months? You know my mind, it's a sponge. I'm not sure how I feel about being in here. Don't be ridiculous. We're all alone. What else do you suggest we do? Why would Frederick keep a list of what he calls traitors? What did they do to him? Cross him in some way. Why else keep a shit... A list of undesirables? Keys in the casa. Whatever that is. Don't look at me. Casa. So that's what it means. Cash register. You're a genuine gangster now, old fruit. Don't worry. If you get busted, I'll come visit you in the big house. Wasn't there supposed to be a key? Here it is. The key. The one for the storeroom? It is her hat. Teddy, uh, I'm not Betty sure was that's... here. And not long ago. Okay. But if that is her hat, what's it doing in a locked storeroom? Another breadcrumb. That's... not an answer. I know for sure she was here. That's what matters. You know best, Edward. So, what now? If this is a breadcrumb, where's the next one? There must be a reason her hat's in this room.
Why did Betty leave her hat in the store? You keep saying she left breadcrumbs. Maybe the hat's a crumb. What's that? A handwritten note. I'm not blind. What does it say, you silly goose? It's hard to read. I'm not sure my translation will be... Johan, you... Nectar. Refuse. You refuse to speak to me, so I write this letter instead. It's from Frederick Fretland to his brother. Uh, Simon did not... Bloody hell. Simon did not murder your Ruth. He was fond of his cousin. Ruth? Ruth is the daughter of Anna and Johan, which means... The little girl in the photograph at the farmhouse. Oh, Edward. The Fretland girl was murdered. This is simply awful. Simon was working at the farm while I tended to the store. I would have seen him had he passed on the way up to the cliffs. They thought Simon killed Ruth. His own cousin. Ruth was... What's that word? Playing. Ruth was always playing on the rocks below the church. She must have fallen by accident. The note ends there. Frederick never finished it. And Johann never read it. Not that it would have made a difference. If Johann thought... The mob showed up for Simon. His father would have tried to protect him. September 17th. You would have been here, Betty. Rocks below the church. Isn't the church right above us? Edward, come look at this. That's the cliff, right there. The one in the note? I bet you a million clams. Where? See for yourself. I guess that could be where... Let's check it out. No, Lissy, wait. What are you doing? This doesn't concern us. The little girl died. We're staying in her home, for God's sake. Are you completely without heart? Get yourself up here, Edward Harden, right this minute. Come on, it's an easy climb. This looks very dangerous. Oh, you're a big boy. Start acting like it. It's not Mount Everest. I don't know about this. Whoops-a-daisy. What is this? Where little Ruth died. You're being morbid. And this is a distraction. I'm here for Betty, not because some girl Edward, got herself... You insensitive brute. You're like the Tin Woodman, no heart. You know, you've grown cold and mean in that horrid study of yours. With only books and bugs to keep you company. Uh, please look at me when I'm talking to you. Uh, please look at me when I'm talking to you. You know, you... Uh, please look at me when I'm talking to you. Uh, you know, you've grown cold and mean in that horrid study of yours. With only books and bugs to keep you company for years and years and years. There are other people in this world, you know. It's not all about you. You're going to do this. If not for Ruth, then for us. We're going to figure out what happened to the poor girl. Together. That's been here a while. Didn't you say it happened over a month ago? You'd think her family would have replaced it with fresh flowers. Is that blood? The girl could have hit her head on that rock. There would have been plenty of blood. That's awful. I think there's something behind it. Can you move the rock aside? Hmm. 
It must be Ruth's. Where's the head? Maybe the killer also decapitates dolls. Hold on. This pin. This is old. Very old. It looks like something from the... from the Viking era. We are in the land of Vikings. This could be a thousand years old. <laughs> it does not belong in a child's doll. Who cares? Ruth is dead and you're obsessing about a rusty old pin? Let's go further up. Maybe we'll find more clues. Come on, old sport! It's not far! Can you wait just one minute so that I can catch my... breath? Huh. Did you follow the same path, Betty? Or am I just stumbling through darkness? You can see clear beyond the edge of the world. Uh, one oh, second. teddy bear. <laughs> we need to take you out walking more often. So, the girl fell from up here. Was pushed, you mean. Can you see where she fell? Seeing as you're so concerned about me falling out of trees, I wouldn't want to risk falling off a cliff. Certainly high enough to kill a child. If I had to go, this would be the way to do it. Soaring through the air like a bird. And landing like a rock. If she fell headfirst on that rock, she'd have died instantly. Edward! Honestly! You wanted to learn more. This is you learning more. She hit her head and fell into the bush where I found her doll. Happy now, Alice? I'm not. What was she doing up here in the first place? Playing? She was a child. Children play in dangerous places. There must be more to it. Let's find out where this path leads. No, absolutely not. I don't have time for this nonsense. We're running out of daylight and Betty's still... You're still out there. Lissy! Slow down. I can't keep up with you. Who knows what's up there? It's not worth the risk of falling and breaking something. Lissy? Are you there? Teddy. My word. Uh, look away, Lissy. Is this what happened to the villagers? They killed themselves? It's one body. Let's not jump to conclusions. What about those fresh graves at the church? There were at least half a dozen of them. Did everyone just... die? They're not necessarily connected. Oh, come on. Ugh, oh, this is just ghastly. What made him do this? How long has he been... From the state of the body, perhaps a couple of weeks. It depends on temperature and humidity, of course. What does that say? God forgive me. Don't suicides go to hell? Isn't that what your father said when Stop. your mother drowned Don't. herself? Sorry. Who was he? One of the Fretlanders? It's not Johan or Frederick. And he's too old to be Simon. Do you think this has something to do with Ruth? Maybe she came across the hangman before she died. And it scared her. So she ran no. and... This happened later. There's some consolation in that, I guess. Maybe it's the killer. The guilt ate him up and he offed himself. That's just speculation with no basis in fact. There's nothing more to do here. I'm going back. Let the poor soul rest in peace. Does it look like he's resting in peace? You're just going to leave him hanging? You're an insensitive brute. I'm here for Betty. This is... It's tragic, but really none of my oh, concern. Betty, 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 always just Betty. You don't care about anyone else. What if that was me up there? Would you care then? All you do is obsess over a scarf and... And a hat and... Ugh. It's all I have of Betty. Betty, there she is again. Edward... 
the Hanged Man, he's someone. No matter what he did or didn't do, he deserves respect. Would you please just do this one decent deed? If not for me, then for yourself. Or for... For your Betty. What are you doing? You can't just pull him down by his legs. Try loosening the noose. I can't reach that far. going to be sick. I can't do this. Yes, you can. Teddy. Edward. I know you can. You've been through much worse. Where are the Fretlands, Edward? It's been two days. If they're not back tonight... They're not coming back. Perhaps they left after their daughter died. Was murdered, you mean? Isn't that what we think happened? Perhaps she fell by accident. So you don't think it was murder? It's difficult to say with any certainty. The boy could have pushed her. You're really not helping. Can we talk about this tomorrow? I'm sorry. You're exhausted. I, I buried a corpse today, Alice. I know. I'm sorry. Why don't you sleep in the guest bedroom? The couch is fine. The Fretlands could still come home. All right. Just don't come crying to me if you wake up with a crick in your neck. I'll be up for a while, if you feel like talking. What did you find? Someone tried to burn this. Just like the book. Isn't that odd? It's addressed to Mrs. Fretland. My dearest Anna. It's from her sister, Margaret. Frederick's wife. The, the two brothers married sisters, remember? Yes, and it's adorable. Keep reading. I really shouldn't. Really? How else are we going to figure out what happened? Keep reading. My dearest Anna. I miss you so very, very much. The baby is due soon, and I wish for our family to reunite before... Uh, da, da, da. It's been seven years since the dreadful incident at the mine. Can we not convince Frederick and Johan to forgive and forget? Uh, I know there are things Frederick has not told me about what they found and why they parted ways. Their grudge is tearing us all apart. Frederick won't even let me speak to half of our neighbors, accusing them of treason. Uh, he's so very angry and full of regrets. It's eating him up. And we... And we what? The rest is unreadable. Margaret reached out to her sister, but I guess it didn't work. This was written before Simon was born, but burned recently. I really thought I'd find Betty today. Well, I told you not to get your hopes up, Edward. I mean, we just got here. It's a big place. She could be anywhere. It's just the thought of her alone out there. In the dark. 
She's a tough cookie. You're Betty. Tougher than you, teddy bear. <laughs> that she is. I almost forgot putting this aside when I lit the fire. Wasn't there an inscription inside? Simon! Simon gave that book to Ruth. But who burned it? Johan or Anna. If they believed Simon killed her. But they were friendly, right? Simon and Ruth. Before... I imagine so. And we know the sisters were close. I still don't understand why the brothers had a falling out. Whatever drove a wedge between them, it was big. Two brothers married twin sisters. 
Anna and Margaret Taylor. That's the Grovik stave church behind them. All those hopes and dreams, ground to dust by misfortune. What are you doing? Betty will want these back. I don't think it's healthy Not now, to... please. I'm exhausted. Quite the day, huh? I'm ready to pass out. Where will you sleep? Uh, I'll be up for a while. My mind's simply racing. Don't stay up late. Wake me if you hear the Fretlands arriving. Of course. And I'll keep my eyes open for any ghosts that might want to haunt you in your sleep. There are no... Hush now. Sleep. <laughs>